Mrs. Maxine Edmondson Flournoy was a member of the Women's Air Force Service Pilots, the WASP, during World War II. After obtaining her pilot's license in 1941, she worked in a defense plant making dyes for bullet shell casings. When a WASP recruiter contacted her in 1943, she eagerly accepted, completing primary, basic, and advanced flying training at Avenger Field in Sweetwater, Texas, as a member of WASP Class 43W8. Flournoy joined an elite group of women serving their country. While many male pilots were stationed overseas in the European and Pacific theaters, formed in August 1943, the WASP accepted only 1,830 out of over 25,000 applicants, and only 1,074 women graduated from flight training. The WASP flew over 60 million miles in a variety of roles and missions, including aircraft ferrying, flight testing, target towing, and teaching basic navigation. Flournoy primarily flew the C-45, also known as the AT-7, at Hondo Army Airfield in Texas, instructing aviation cadets on navigation techniques. She flew cross-country whenever possible in order to increase her flight time, experience, and proficiency. She also ferried aircraft to and from factories and flight-tested aircraft with newly installed engines. During the war, 38 WASP gave their lives, 11 in training accidents, and 27 in the line of duty. WASP pilots operated in a civil service capacity without military benefits, and in December 1944, the WASP were disbanded, beginning a long road toward recognition for their efforts. After World War II, Flournoy continued to fly as a company pilot in Alice, Texas, and later while a Texas historical commissioner. In 1947, Maxine married petroleum engineer Lucien Flournoy. She remained active in the WASP Association, attending reunions and serving as the president of the association for two years. In 1977, the WASP gained congressional recognition as military pilots and finally received military benefits. President Carter appointed her to the USO World Board, where she served for nine years. Maxine was among the 300 surviving WASP who were awarded the Congressional Gold Medal, the nation's highest civilian award, in May 2010. The commemorative Air Force honored her by renaming one of its squadrons the Maxine Flournoy Third Coast Squadron in 2004 and dedicating a museum exhibit to her wartime exploits. Maxine remained married to her husband for 56 years until his death in 2003. She has three daughters and 11 grandchildren.